In good health worldwide, mosquitoes are the deadliest animal on the planet because of the diseases they spread. They can be dangerous right here in Southeast Michigan as well. Dr. Frank George joins us now to explain why you should not let your guard down when we start thinking about mosquitoes and it's fall. Exactly, Karen and Jason. You know, even though fall is officially here and the temperatures are trending down, mosquitoes remain a threat until nighttime temperatures consistently fall below freezing. In fact, mosquito transmitted illnesses in Michigan actually peak during August and September. It was August 23rd that the first death in Michigan this year from West Nile virus was reported in a Wayne County resident. Yesterday, Oakland County confirmed an 80 year old man there died from West Nile virus. Oakland County's first fatal case since 2015. Now, West Nile virus is only one of many illnesses that are spread by mosquitoes. Several other viruses that can cause serious brain infections pop up from time to time. St. Louis encephalitis, lacrosse encephalitis, and eastern equine encephalitis are the primary concerns. Now, this year on September 17th, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services issued a notification that an Allegan County resident developed eastern equine encephalitis. It kills one third of infected individuals. Now if that isn't enough to get your attention. Although there haven't been any cases of Zika virus being spread in Michigan, for the second year in a row, one of two mosquito species capable of carrying the virus has been identified in Wayne County. On August 16th of this year, an Asian tiger mosquito, Aedes albopictus, was identified in Romulus. It's another good reminder that mosquitoes pose an avoidable threat. Simple ways to limit mosquito exposures include using repellents that contain DEET or picaridin, wearing long pants and sleeves when possible, and avoiding activity at dusk and dawn, peak mosquito activity times. Now there is no way to prevent an infection if you are bitten, and that is why preventing bites is so important. Now incidentally, the itchy red bumps that people get from mosquito bites, they are not any evidence of an infection. They are really just an allergic reaction to the compounds in mosquito saliva. Mm. So you don't have to worry if you just have itchy red bumps. Unless you get bitten by that Asian tiger mosquito, <laughs> that then you can worry. Like a scary that could be one. an issue, right? Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.